Uh, bigger birds known as eagles. The eagles are trying to destroy both Pig Island and Bird Island. And so in order to stop the eagles from coming to destroy everything, the birds and the pigs have to make an alliance to f go against a greater evil than themselves. I play Gary the pig, who's also an inventor of sorts, who comes up with things that um, aren't that effective or too effective, depending on how you see them. Uh, he's got a bit of uh, bravado about him through the whole thing and uh, ultimately becomes one of the team that helps uh, take down Eagle Island. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Invisi Spray is a spray that helps to turn you invisible. The downside is that you are never visible again. Nice one, Gary. Uh, then you have uh, the Eagle Detector, which is very effective in detecting eagles, except it's also very loud, and it's also very annoying, and probably will let eagles know that they've been detected. So what's the point of detecting them if now you know that they know that you're there? You know what I mean. Uh, and then the flame retardant literally is uh, the snot of a pig. And I didn't know this, but evidently real pig snot does put out fires. I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's true or not. I just felt like saying it on camera. <laughs> I think that Gary has the kind of style of someone who is overly self-assured. This is how you know. This is how you know. When someone is trying to peacock, right, they're, they're going to dress up. They're going to make an effort. Gary makes no effort because he knows what he has to offer. Doesn't have to dress this up. It's just beautiful as it is. That's who Gary is. Oh, man, I can tell you that I'm fans of a lot of them. I mean, Rachel Bloom has a a voice from the heavens, and she's also incredibly funny. Uh, Sudeikis and McBride and Josh Gad and Bill Hader, like all the folks from the original movie, are back and are better than ever. And then you got the incredible talents of one Miss Leslie Jones. You got Nicki Minaj up in this joint. Like, it's, it's a great uh, group of people, and I'm happy to be counted amongst them. Uh, let's see. I watched a lot of James Bond movies, and I, I, I'm a big fan of Q. Um, and so I was like, what if Q were a pig who wasn't that good at his job? And then I just started playing around with it. And we had a few different options at the beginning. And uh, the producers and the director ultimately said, like, yeah, let's do, let's you do your British version. As a, I also get giddy as an American, because the Brits always come over and they do their American accent. So... Now uh, Dinklage and I can join uh, the Americans who do British accents. It's fun. Good directors, good producers. I think that there's a sense of fun that, uh, that we all collectively bring to it. Uh, most of us have children, so there's an enthusiasm for allowing your kids to see you do something that you know that they're going to like. Um, yeah, yeah, I think our director did a wonderful job of making sure that everybody was having fun every time they stepped into the booth. They're gonna love the hatchlings, which are absolutely adorable. Um, they're gonna love the idea that pigs and birds can come together, because in the first movie, they're like, we're not coming together. And then all of a sudden, they find this alliance, which I think is a good lesson. Um, I think the, the young ladies that come to see the film, they recognize that we can be the hero and we can be the villain and that uh, we don't have to be the damsel off in the corner waiting to be saved. Like, any character is a possibility for us. Angry Birds 2, we find uh, the pigs and the birds are not enemies, per se, but they are constantly heckling one another. Different pranks are being pulled all the time. And then there's a third island that we discover, Eagle Island, and Eagle Island is looking to destroy both Piggy and Bird Island. So in order to keep their islands from being destroyed, the pigs and the birds must come together right now or else risk being destroyed.